Come on, mate. Please let me out. Thank you. Got half the garrison here. I am Shilad Fitz Estelin, emissary of the Empire of Nilfgaard and its most divine emperor, Emir Var Emrys. What do you want of me, Nilfgaardian? Simply to speak, my lady. Ah, really? Something you would not dare were my son still alive. I very much regret the death of the Baron Lavalette. Please accept my deepest condolences. Yet it is precisely his loss that renders our conversation mutually desirable. Let go of me. I shall walk unaided. I shall return, rogue! And I shall repay you! Let us go, my lady. Your cries can do us no good.
What was that? Come in, Master Geralt. Allow me to introduce the Baroness Lavalette, mother to the royal children, who at present mourns the passing of her eldest son. Milady. I comfort the Baroness with assurances that House Lavalette needs suffer no more, its future brighter as it stands protected by the Empire of Nilfgaard. Did you kill my son, Arian? Lady, I killed many during the assault, not just your son. War demands sacrifices. You might remember that the next time you're about to start one. Have some compassion, Master Geralt. The Baroness requires support. She is distraught as it is. Unnecessary toil, Excellency, for witches have no feelings. And the truth, especially when painful, can wake us from the slumber of self-deception. I deserved as much. Milady, I wouldn't trust the Ambassador if I were you. Master Geralt, let us be serious, please. Let him speak. I wish to hear this. I didn't know your son, but I know he saw the Empire as a foe, as did King Foltest. You've no notion of the events transpiring in the Kingdom, of what Kimbolt, Maravel, and their ilk are capable. My duty is to Foltest's children, their safety. And though I too, see a pact with Nilfgaard as a pact with the devil. I feel I have no choice. Besides, can you say that you really knew the king? Well enough to be confident of my words. Truly? In that case, what kind of a man was he? I wish to know your view. He was ruthless, hard, and effective. A good king. Effectiveness is the mark of a good witcher. We've learned to expect other things from monarchs. Say, justice and wisdom. Few are born wise, milady. He did all he could to preserve and safeguard the realm. The ambassador questioned your guilt. It seems now that I too believe you did not slay the king. Your Excellency, you will aid the witcher to escape the castle. That is my wish. But, my lady, this would represent an immeasurable risk in my estimation. And there is the matter of your son. He chose his fate, and departed in a manner worthy of the Lavalettes. How am I to believe you'll protect me from reptiles like Kimbolt and Maravel when you balk at the notion of deceiving a few prison guards? My lady, I shall do what is in my power. Give me a moment, Witcher, then proceed to the main gate. The witch has fled his cell and is raging in the dungeon. Restrain him immediately. But... One more word, soldier, and I shall personally make certain you hang beside the fugitive. To the dungeon, on the double!
You lost! You were to sneak out, avoid anything resembling a bloodbath. You left me the key to my manacles, not an invisibility cloak. Triss, is everything all right? Not exactly. I'm no longer the royal advisor. I've lost my post, my home in Vizima. Witcher's mistress, they call me. Kingslayer's whore. People say what they think they have to. I know, but... They'll change their minds as soon as we find the Kingslayer. Roach will see to that. Right, spy? I'm no spy, but you're mostly correct. An interregnum is chaos by definition. Rats like Baron Kimbolt and Count Maravel rule Temeria now, or strive to. But no one save old Natalis can restore true order. Natalis is far away and of low birth. The crown's simply out of his reach. Baron Kimbolt, on the other hand... Politics is secondary right now. Vernon, learn anything new about the Kingslayer? A week ago I got a message from an informer in Flotsam. He saw Yorveth in the company of a large, bald man, not unlike the one you described. A week ago? Sounds like a cold trail to me. We need to start somewhere. The trading post is a few days upriver, in the forests that lie on the Adernian border. Yorveth's territory. Flotsam it is then. Triss. Yes? I'm a bit beat up. Will you look at my wounds? Mm-hmm. Let's go below deck. And I need you to tell me about Yennefer in detail. I want to hear it all, even the things you don't want to tell me, even the things that might hurt. Prepare to cast off! Clear the lines and all aboard! Lines clear, Captain! War is a good time to forge friendships, alliances. Harry and Lavalette, busy building walls and forging swords, forgot that. When he was gone, those he loved were forced to forge friendships with those he hated. Life can't be easy for anyone who's unlucky enough to be labeled a regicide. That goes triple for someone like Geralt. Could his luck get any worse? I've known the Witcher for a long time, and I'm sure that kings, courts, and politics concern him about as much as last year's snow. But hey, life doesn't always dole out what we expect, right? Sometimes it even forces us to associate with unsavory characters like Vernon Roach. No, I'm not making any excuses. And yes, I had my reasons. The Witcher spent most of the way to Flotsam talking to someone. Long into the evening, as water lapped against the boat's side, Triss told him forgotten stories of his unexpected child and his toxic relationship with a sorceress named Yennefer. Stories of a life stolen from him. Am I boring you? Don't set this tale aside. Give me just a few minutes more, for someone special's about to appear in dire straits upon a scaffold.
sheathe your sword, Elf. I'm here to talk. Bow low. You stand before a head crowned. That of Demavend, King of Eder, by the grace of the gods, sovereign of the Pontar Valley, and so on. And you are? A friend to non-humans. I have an offer. Speak quickly and to the point. The Arrakis will soon return, and I'd rather know all before then. I can add several more heads to this one. Each crowned. Go on. Fault S to start with. I barely escaped in Edern. I'll need help. Access to your hideouts and maps of your secret trails. And the support of the Scoyatel. I want no gold and have no interest in the killer's fame. Then why do you wish them dead? It's a long story. Your beast nabbed his necker. Time to go. Do we have a deal, Elf? Flotsam should be just beyond the point. We'll take the beach. Who's we? You and me. Reconnaissance. I'm coming too. You should stay behind. We can't be sure of the reception we'll get. Precisely why I won't let you go alone. Someone's got to look after you. That time of the month. Any news from your secret informer? The port's blocked. Some merchants have been held up for months. What about roads through the forest? Your vest rules the forest. Where are we? In a forest? Very funny. But who does it belong to? Yorveth, maybe? I know more about the Pontar Valley than you think. For instance, I know that Foltest stole this land from Demavend a few years back. I believe you had a hand in that. Hear that? I smell an elf. That's Vernon Roach, Special Forces Commander for the last four years, servant of the Temerian King, responsible for the pacification of the Mahakaman foothills, hunter of elves, murderer of women and children, twice decorated for valor on the field of battle. Yorver, a regular son of a whore. I've long awaited our meeting. Laid plans, set traps, and now you appear in my forest of your own volition. You aided the man who slew my king. King or beggar, what's the difference? One dwan less. Since when did the Scoyatel hire professional killers to do their dirty work? A dwan even. You've fallen low. A hired killer, true. But in all certainty he is no dwan. 
Don't make a big deal of the race thing. Yet race is the very reason we fight. We have pointed ears, yours are rounded. We are few yet long lived. Your kind multiplies like vermin, though thankfully expires quickly. Humans and elves alike, trying to prove one shape is better than the other. 400 years of killing over the mold of the Oracle. The Kingslayer's among you. We've come for him. Then our interests collide. The Kingslayer is under my protection, and I'll not hand over a guest. You're just another old elf in a young elf's skin, using clever words to mask an obvious truth. Obvious, you say? This is not about race or freedom, or even vengeance. You're here because someone powerful told you to be. Someone who's using you. They may wear a crown, carry a magic wand, or even lead a guild. But be sure of this. It's not about your freedom, your rights, or your ears. Nilfgaard plowed you once. Now someone new does. Am I wrong? Those times are gone. No one will ever use the Square Tal again. Who are you addressing? Me? Yourself? Or the archers in those shrubs? Enough of this, Piss! Stop! Hey! That ought to discourage them. Triss, are you alright? Lovely. You should have charmed the archers. They're coming. You know each other? Rather well. But he has amnesia. I actually took the Witcher by surprise when I killed Foltest. Fear not, Elf. I know Geralt. I know his weakness. Too many spells at once. 
You can die from that. See that? Yeah. The Kingslayer and Yorvith. You all in one piece? Who are you? I'm a witcher. Emirvar Emrys, spice merchant. A trader? In spices. Uh-huh. I'm the woman. My good man, we barely escaped death. Be so kind as to tell us where we might get some rest. We'll explain everything later. Very well. Head for the market square. You might be in time for the execution. Some ne'er-do-wells are going to hang. A dwarf and some bard. There's also an inn and a brothel. Oh yeah, the brothel sounds especially interesting. Take care now. Did you say that? Squirrels that are very wolves. Your vet led them. I saw them with my own eyes. 